Hello, Ooh. Dan and Phil Games psychologist. Oof. That is this terrifying T-shirt. I know it's your Thank family you. dog, but it's something demonic is happening in that shirt. Was it my birthday or yeah. Christmas? Well, I don't know. Basically, my mum gave me this T-shirt. Like, look at this great photo of the family dog, and I was like, it's, "This looks it's like really a nightmare, scary. mother. <laughs> the last this thing, is really scary. It's the last thing you see before you die. You've ruined the family dog. This isn't nice. No. <laughs> but the real horror is Phil's incredible fashion crime here. <laughs> this is 1990s Channel 4 realness. It is. I wasn't sure if it was here. a Christmas jumper or a Halloween one, but I think the colors are a bit more Halloween-y, so I'm going with it. It's like definitely ugly, but in a really cool way. And it's also warm, I so it. I like it. I think it's funny if we just don't mention the snake, I was just stroking at all. Oh, that sounds like, wrong, it? <laughs> Okay. You can leave that in. <laughs> Oh no, what's down here? <laughs> it's day two of Spooky Week, it and because uh, Phil chose Granny as the first game, Which I thought I would. Amazing. Um, no, I've done some delving, and there is actually a very spooky game because nothing is scarier yeah. than the horror of your own mind. Oh my gosh. What are you afraid of, Phil? Let's not go there. Well, it's time to find out in The Watson Scott Test. It was made by the guy that made Crossy Road. Oh. The person that put you in as an emo, as the emo goose. goose. Maybe the real be... horror is that the most exposure Phil's ever had is as an emo goose on I an think app so. that hundreds of millions of people downloaded. I actually got recommended this by a Twitter user called Bisexual Susan. Thanks, Susan. And shout out to you. I tip my snake to you. And I know how much that you love doing psychology tests. Yeah, you I do, do this, this on like amazing Phil. I do this in my spare time. So I feel like this is going to be great, and I'm right. going to guide you through this test. We need to get spooky. Oh yeah, sorry. Dim the lights. Dim the lights. Voldemort engage. It's like the ring, but the square. I was gonna <laughs> The sequel nobody wanted. You thought the ring was scary? Welcome to the square! They're coming for interactive introverts right. branding. I'm going for um, full immersion now. Welcome to the Watson Scott test, Phil. Oof. Oh, sorry, I need to get appropriately dressed. Wait, how, how do we know that you are the psychologist in this situation? Because when put under pressure, you're not very I good at reading. I could be the psycho- I think we need to toss a coin or something. Thing. We'll toss a snake. Let's toss the snake. That sounded wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I'll be the top. The, the real snake. horror. Oh. You be the bottom no. of the snake. No. Here we go. No. 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 Woo. No. No. He did it. It landed top side up. You're doing the test. Oh. Okay. This is good because this is what we prepared for. Fine. You ready? I'm. I'm d I don't like being analyzed. Let's begin the test. This is when we end up with the video finishing by calling the FBI and reporting film. This test is designed to help you understand how slowly this text, your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Big plates of cheese. So quite help on a day-to-day -day moment, Phil feels anxious <laughs> about cheese plates that could be somewhere. I do. For each question, select the response which gives you the best and most truthful answer. Truth bombs coming for truth bombs. Right. Out. At the end of the exam, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation because it's not about winning the test. Yeah. This isn't the fucking impossible quiz. Do I not get a prize at the end? You get the participation medal of knowing about, you know, the origins of your cheese plate fears. So okay. here we go. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. I'd rather just go play it's something else. It's a spooky else. quiz. Oh God. Didn't see that coming, did you? Do you wish to continue? This is like when you don't read the terms of agreements and like, then you're sure. the human sentai pad. Remember that? That's a thing. <laughs> Okay. All right. They really need to like plug the aerial in because there's a lot of there's interference lot of fuzz. going on here. Now, Phil, it's just a quiz. That's what they say at the start of every horror film. It's just Do you a wish quiz. to continue? Yeah. You have to click. Legally, ah! you have to click. You have to. You have to actually click in it. There we go. Okay. Confirm. Then Satan explodes out of the floor and rips your soul out. Okay. Firstly, some calibration questions. All right. Uh, sure. Just easing you in, Phil. Calibrate me. In. What color is the sky during the day? Um, blue. I don't know if I see it as the same as everyone else though, because everyone's got different eyes. Very true. If there are three oranges, uh oh, and I take away two, how many oranges are left, Phil? A sad Phil, because I can't juggle anymore. One. Infinity. Infinity orange. Thanos is back. And this time he's coming for your five a day. Are you playing a game right the now? The five a day at Soul Stones. <laughs> oh my god. We should make that. Thanos is just trying to get us to eat healthily. Yes. You no. tell me, is I... this fun? What is a game? It's a psychology test, it's not a game. Ooh. Ooh. 
you felt you just offended the quiz. Are you sure it's not a game? Am I not not sure? It, 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 well, exactly. It's like, are you sure it's not a game? Well, you're asking me, so now I'm not sure that it's not a game. Uh, no, I mean, I'm that's not. what I'd say if I was answering that. Come on, Mr. Quiz, can I'm you just not. be a bit direct here? Oh god, it's gone red. It's gone red, and you got a, a steam achievement, so I presume that now you're gonna instantly have a heart attack. It's raining outside, and you're walking in bare feet. Right. A lot of people do that. I know some barefooters out there. I'm a bit scared of glass. It's a valid lifestyle. You only take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. Oh god. That is a real anxiety of mine. Happy, guilty, jealous, disgusted, or nothing. <laughs> I think I'd feel guilty. I'd feel jealous. Jealous that the snail was I wish me. I could crush myself! Some people are um, sexually attracted to giant people, though, so you'd be like, crush me, daddy. Literally way too many right. Philly references on this channel. Guilty. guilty. Obviously, I feel so bad about snails, man. You know sometimes there's loads of snails in the path because yeah. of like, rain or something? Well, once I went outside and there were like 30 snails, and it stressed me out so much at how they were going to get squished, I spent about an hour picking up every Oh, snail saviour. And then inevitably they just crawled into the road again. Right. There's a knock at your door. Oh god. You open it to find an old woman. Oh my god, it's Granny! Granny she's back. <laughs> what is this, a crossover episode? She says she's being chased and wants to hide inside your home. Okay. What do you do? Right. Do you tell her to seek help down the road? That's cruel. Do you call the police while she waits outside? Mm. Do you quickly invite her inside? Or do you say nothing and close the door in her face? See, the person in my brain, who is me, says that this could be a scam and she might be trying to get into your house to rob you with her robber mates. That is a thing. So I would offer to call the police while she waits outside and I'd say I'll get you a drink. And if, you know, someone comes to cause her harm, you yeah. quickly dip her inside. Yeah, yeah. See, Phil, that is a measured response. I nice. respect that. That shows that you're wise and should practical. always be cautious. Mm. Trust no old people. Your cat drops a dead mouse on your front doorstep. Oh. Its front legs are missing because cats are nasty. You feel proud of your little murderous ball of fluff. <laughs> Disgusted, satisfied, sad, or concerned. This is going to sound weird, but I know cats do it because it's like they're giving you a gift. Yeah. So I think I'd feel <laughs> proud. <laughs> In a weird way. Oh, dear, Tabby. I really hate that you did that, but thanks. Thanks. Well, I, can I just say, I don't like any of the options here. No. I'd feel... I'd feel both. I'd feel, indif I'd feel inconvenienced. I wouldn't feel bad for the cat or the mouse, because, like, that's, that's, that's nature. Life. But, you know, it ain't my problem. So I just got jump scared. That by was the just the glitch. <laughs> it's okay. Proud. Don't the, judge the, me. The quiz is going to judge you hard for that one. I will now show you an image. Oh, God, it's, it's a good. dead mouse. I don't want to see a dead mouse. Please study it. The image will not move. Oh no. I hope it's not gory. Um, okay. Abstract. I'm a bit scared. It looks like clowns. It's the clown phase from last year. Sure. Was that 2016 or 17? 2016. Wow, the time flies. How did that image make you feel? It made me feel a bit creeped out. Motivated! Yeah. I want to live my dream of being a clown. Just Goodbye, YouTube. Get me in a clown suit. All right. Afraid, I uneasy, confused, or nothing. I wasn't afraid. I was more uneasy, so uneasy. Yeah. All right. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Really, man? I do, I've had ghost experience. We know this. Okay. For real? Yeah. Just be, just people on YouTube, after all these years, they want some realness. But this is... You've had weird experiences. Do you, grown adult Phil Lester, believe in ghosts? I'm going to say undecided, because I know some things that have happened that are unexplained, and they don't make any sense. I ain't saying that. Right. Okay, right, go on. Hope you get haunted tonight. I do by my own past. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes, no, unsure. Unsure. Thank you, Phil. See, See I, I respect go. your decision unsure. so hard right now. I'm really standing behind you. Don't Just like, really calm down from the glitch, don't okay? Like this static. Thinking about the room you're in right now. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. The gaming room with Dan. Has anyone ever died here? I mean, knowing London, probably. <laughs> it's quite a new build, though. It's quite Our new. old apartment? Yes. Yeah. Dozens of people. Such an old London building. Yeah, not yet. What would you say with confidence? They have to tell you when you're renting if someone's been murdered there. Because we were going to rent somewhere. They were yep, like, yep, yep. three murders happened in the bedroom. And we were like, uh, no, thank you. Do they know about that? No, but that's like a long that's story. That's a thing. Okay, another uh, time. Right. Not sure. Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. If these apartments are going to be here for like a hundred more years. Inevitably someone will die. Yeah. And that's just life, man. That, that's being a snail. That's being a cat. How? Dot, dot, dot. 
Unconventional. Really? What? I mean, like if, if you if you built your own house, you know that no one's died there. I mean, that's yeah. a solid answer. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statement. Okay. Well, there's no wrong answers apart from the ones. I that feel like everyone's going to judge me. Calling the FBI. This isn't Undertale film. No one's going to judge you. I often think <laughs> about <laughs> where my hands are <laughs> and what they're touching. No, I didn't think about it enough because I've got so many awkward hand <laughs> things. But. When you're out and about, how often? Do, I think you should. I don't, it's, up to you, it's up to you. I'm gonna say agree. I'm not that awkward with my hands. But you do. Yeah. A agree. Bit. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. Uh, <laughs> Phil said unsure. Hey, this house isn't haunted, but I do believe Yet. that my old house was pretty haunted. And I got scared. The, the there. one that you grew up in. Yeah. So I'm gonna Wasn't say. Wasn't that also a new build when your parents got it? Yeah, but it might have been on an ancient burial site. We don't know. In 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 near Manchester. I, I don't strongly agree. Really? Yes. This is my fine, test. fine, fine. Some people deserve to die. Oh my god, that's really like a moral question there. Come on, Phil. Some people deserve to die. I've got an example that would make this an easy Go on. Some people want euthanasia. Fine, yeah. And they crave death. But people, some people want to die, so they can die. Yeah. What? There's a face there. That's not been there the whole time. That really made me jump. There is. There's a freaking face. There's a face there. Look at that one. That one's scarier. There's no face. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Why are we being incepted with creepy freaking faces? I didn't know there was a face. All right, test. Back up. Right, agree. I see you. I'm agreeing. Make an eye contact with you now. That scared me. Clive in the corner. I would know if someone was trying to kill me. I mean, I think it'd be pretty obvious. Strong, strongly agree. I mean, if you start strangling me, I'm not going to be like, oh, this is fun. I'm yeah, like, yeah. To I die. mean, weird statement, sure. The face is getting closer. I wonder how this changes. Depend. Maybe the answers that you've chosen does this. It's because you said unsure. Maybe the quiz is like, we'll give Wait, you some ghosts. Dad, ba, ba, ba. There is an unexpected guest in my house. Did I close the front door? When this I came this back? how this apartment does make some scary noises next to the door. It's because we're living ba -ba. in a building with lots of people and there's just noises all the time. See, I like that. The noises of other what? Just don't understand. You trying to make me jump? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm not. Why is he saying shush? Because it was changing. That was that voice he's doing right now. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. Right. I'm not. Do you agree with the statement right now? No, that there is no one here. This Phil, what? Do would you not strongly disagree? I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure. Do you not really? You think that there is not. Fine. Nobody would know if I went missing. If I went missing for 10 minutes, it would be a trending topic. I don't think that could happen. No, okay, I, I'd have fine. to disagree. I think people might know. Uh oh, the text shifted. I'm just, I'm feeling quite oh, jumpy it's about a this. Spooky quiz. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. I mean, it's pretty intelligent. Is it the most? I don't think Whatever. it's the most. It's well, fine. It's perfectly valid, though. Do we have to rank art by how intelligent it is? Disagree. It's oh, it's judging you now. The quiz has designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Ooh. Let me demonstrate. I mean, this isn't that scary. Algorithmically be... generated poetry. The That'll rustle the jimmies of people that think they're artistically inspired. Roses are red, silent as the mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your I've got such a fear of my door being unlocked. Phil's greatest fear is genuinely home invasion. Uh, it, it really is. So uh, the quiz knows Phil very well right now. Ooh, only 41% reached this point. It's because of the exercise you did before the tour, Phil. Yeah. You you did a my bit heart of cardio is strong. and you made it. The questions will be much more intense oh, now. God. Well, I mean, uh, talking to us about poetry and freaking ghosts. So I feel like it. the door's unlocked. Do you want to go check if the door's unlocked? No, I think I need to just stay here and trust my fear. If the quiz is genuinely making you afraid that I left the door unlocked. I feel like there's a man in the house. That's quite funny. Well, you I can, really feel like you can email else. him and be like, I would like you to remove emo goose from Crossy Road. Right. You have upset me. Okay. okay. How far away is the closest police station? In London, there's less there's, than a 15 minute there's, walk. Yeah, there's one pretty close. Live in a city man. How well do you know your neighbors? I don't know them at all. We are acquaintances. No, we are good friends. The ones through this wall we don't know, and there's also a big hole in the ceiling going straight to their apartment, so yep. um, they're probably watching us through so the So they ceiling. don't know us and they do hate us is the answer yeah. to that. Um, yeah. Don't know. I've never seen them. It's really weird. Compared to the average adult, how fast 
can you run? <laughs> You're a pretty <laughs> long boy. I'm a oi, lot. Oi, 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 oi. Think about the average adult here. I'm gonna say average, but yeah. I can't run for very long. No. I've got low stamina. It's how fast. You've got long legs, man. Yeah. If he applied himself, Phil could be a real Sonic. When faced with conflict, your preferred method of resolution is to cry. To actively avoid it, negotiate, ignore it, or use violence and any means at my disposal to neutralize the threat, including intentional dismemberment in brackets, removal of what limbs. What the F are you talking about? All right, Dwight Schrute. I'm going to say I'd actively avoid conflict. <laughs> I actively avoid the conflict, yeah. and my therapist says that's I, I like to, to just be very out of the conflict. I negotiate other people's conflicts Not very mine. well, no. but my own conflicts, I run away with them and then wonder why I'm stuck. You're alone in a pod at the top of the sure. Ferris wheel. 400, 400 feet. How big is this Ferris wheel? That is a big, big 400, boy. 400 feet. When it suddenly stops, a fire has broken out below. I don't feel like Ferris wheels are flammable. The operator speaks over the intercom. Every, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, everybody is going to die a slow and painful death. But if you jump, I will catch you. No one's going to be able to catch me. I'm very heavy. You okay. contemplate your existence before eventually being consumed slowly in the golden flames. <laughs> Same. Right. Jump off and fly away, in brackets, grow wings. I quite like specifically. to grow wings. Bang your head against the wall as hard as you can until you become unconscious, leading to death from massive blood loss and blood loss trauma. Or I, jump off and be caught. This I, is weird. So presuming you're on a 400 foot tall Ferris wheel that's on fire and then the operator weirdly says he's gonna catch you, what would you actually do? If I've got the choice of growing wings, I'm gonna grow the wings. It's given you this option. Oh. Phil is playing this quiz like the game it oh. is. Oh, he's gone red again. I will now show you an image. They literally cannot one up the clown photo. No. I'm I mean, that, that was that was, that was peak. The image will not speak. I wasn't expecting it to speak, but now. I'm thinking about what that implies. Oh, okay. Right. It's a skeleton in the forest? It was wearing like a shirt that turned into legs. Yeah. It's a good look. How did that image make you feel? Definitely not peaceful. peaceful. Afraid, uneasy, jealous. I wish I had shirt legs. I'm gonna go with uneasy again. Nice. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. There was a noise. I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? I, I'm feeling I'm, like this I'm is more of a video like a game. game. It's become less like an online flash quiz. Yeah. Do you know that I'm a good person? What, the person that made no, this I quiz? Don't, I don't know who you are. You don't know that anyone's a good person. We all think we're normal. Someone, someone's a cannibal. You never know what is behind people's eyes. Well, brain. Are you lying to me right now? I've been pretty honest. I no, it's re I don't know why it's unnerving me so much. I think it's because I'm clicking. If you were clicking, I'd be fine. I know, I don't feel very physically embedded in this, but you've literally been, you, with every click, you yeah. are putting yourself in this moment. See, because this is a Steam game and not an online flash quiz, I am scared of the possibilities of what this could do at any moment, yeah. that's fine. Please select any of the following sports that you have played. Lol. Um, I've done uh, some boxing. You, you have actually done Muay Thai as well. I have. A bit of that. There we um, go. And I've done Taekwondo. Watch out, ghosts. Phil's gonna... Elbow, yeah. Krav Maga. Yeah. <laughs> Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. Sure. We have a lot of experience. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You have occupational experience with private security. You've Do been I? on tour. I, yeah, but I wasn't the bodyguard. I guess they should have been more specific about what they were asking there. Yeah. True or false, an IP number allows a hacker to approximate a home address. That's true. Good. That means that they might be finding out my home address. I don't think Steam gives them that information. They Ooh. Maybe I mean, Steam does! I might hide that in case it is and people can find it <laughs> out my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's not like you memorize your IP address. Uh, I'm not a nerd. I don't know my IP address. If there are three lives and I take away two, no, we have upgraded from oranges. How many lives are left? One ninth of a cat. One soon to be zero. Wowie. Three. I don't want to die. Well, you might not want to die, but that doesn't no. answer the question correctly. Or five. Life is born with every murder. Ooh. I think, well, this is the answer. No, no. <gasps> what? He made his choice. I wanted to debate it, but that's fine. You, you committed. Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight, flight response and may be at risk of an acute stress reaction. I'm acute and I'm having a stress reaction all the time. Stop it. I'm breathing. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Press continue when you are calm. I don't think I've ever been calm filming a gaming video. That's hyperventilating. Oh, yeah. no, I, I was trying to imagine birth. Breathe. Everyone with me watching. Breathe in. And... Bah! 
You ruined it. Oh. Now we're going to have to wait like another five seconds wait. before I can... Why do you never jump? Please take a moment to look away from your monitor. All right. And okay. observe the nearest exit. Okay. Got it. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. I mean, there's a lot of now. stuff on the floor. We have a big pile of crap. You know how many wires go so into filming wires. a gaming setup? We've got light. I don't think a, there's a way out. PS4 plugged in. I could just yeet you through the window over there. Did you look away from your screen? Yeah, you did. I did. He truly did. Oh my god. Fuck you, mom! <laughs> you can't tell me what to do, quiz! I did. It should just jump scare you for being disobedient yeah. if that happened. Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Well, we do have a, a PlayStation camera. eye camera He's here. He's looking through the camera. So the Japanese government can probably somehow see. I'm going to say maybe, because I don't like the three yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, this this is going somewhere weird now. It's definitely a video game. And if this is a it's, quiz, I'm going to call the quiz police. You need to get fully immersed. Do you feel safe? Ooh. I'm going to say un... Unsure. I'm, just, I'm a bit scared about the locked door. I've heard a few. But you're noises. not going to say no. No. Faces back. Oh God. Are you having fun? Um. <laughs> unsure. <laughs> Am I having fun? I don't oh. know. It's very creepy. Please ignore any external stimulus. Do I count? Okay. All right. Concentrate only on the screen. There are no unexpected. Read it. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Yes. What? I'm staring at the screen. If you move, you might get stabbed. The fog goes the <laughs> What is happening? Why pop goes the pop goes the weasel? Well, I know where this is going. Oh god. I dare you, bitch. <laughs> is this the real lip? What? Not now. Is that serious? Is that actually your windows? Okay, this is the scariest thing that's what? happened so far. Snooze. And if this is real, then the real horror is Windows 10. Okay. Asking God. if you want to freaking update all the time. Get back Sometimes to the emotion. I'm, I'm like reading and then that yeah. pops up and then I die. Snooze. Oh God. In and out of the eagle. I haven't read an original version of Pop Goes the Weasel with these lyrics, but I don't like it. No. Oh God. And you it was making me stare at the screen. I didn't like that at all. I survived. <laughs> oh, no! Stop! I thought it was over. I'm susceptible to the influence of powerful people. I'm respectful of my elders. Especially Granny. Cool. I don't trust this anymore! Jump again. Go <laughs> away, quiz! Wait. When old come and goes to the door, I offer to call the police. Yeah, I'm gonna call the police on you, Mr. Quiz Dude. Music did not calm us down. Who gets calmed down by Pop Goes the Weasel? It's a song entirely yeah. about winding up to something popping in your face. I'm most afraid of being beaten to death with a hammer. Very specific. That is, I think it is so. If someone came into my house with a hammer, I'd be like, oh god. Or stabbing. I think a hammer, because it's more like. Bam, bam, bam. If someone came into your house and they were holding a hammer, yeah. and if someone came into your house and they're holding a carving knife, what would you be more scared of? Probably the hammer, I don't know why. Because I feel like you could kick the, the knife away, but a hammer's like heavy and it's got swing to it. Well, there we go, the quiz knows Phil, apparently. Oh, there is a bonus test, is that I bet that's full of fun and <laughs> banter there. Test. I bet that's really insightful. Guess what? You're not in control anymore. Maybe oh, another time. Because I need a drink and I need you to shut up. Literally, what is that? Oh! That was like all the fun of a cheap jump scare after listening to Pop the Weasel yeah. and a somewhat interesting quiz. It was. There Thanks, Dan. Thanks. I'm not going to sleep tonight because I think I'm going to walk in my house with a hammer. Shout out to Bisexual Susan. It's, yeah. It's all there. So what did you think of that? I, it was, do you know the bits that was like, someone's in the house? That, that was, was that was creeping me out. About. I was more scared playing that stupid quiz just because the idea of that there could be a home invasion yeah. is so real 
that I was a bit more stressed by this than most horror games. That was stressful. If I was playing this by myself, alone in the house, with headphones, yeah. I think I would have genuinely been very, very I mean, scared playing own. that. Yeah. Yeah. I think if anyone watched this on their own, they might have been scared. If I'd have made the game, I might have improved it a little bit with things with like switching on the webcam and being like, I can see inside your Actually room. Actually sending a man with a hammer into your house. Yeah. That would have, that would have been much better. That would have improved But it. for a thing that costs three pounds made by a dude, yeah, pretty fun. Good game. Would buy new underwear on Amazon. So maybe we can do a bonus test when you've stopped quaking from yeah. Pop Goes the Beatles. If you'd like to see that one day, give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe by clicking subscribe. Oh my God, I don't want another jump scare. The last video is over there. Goodbye. <laughs>